Hi everyone, it's Anne. Welcome to my channel, Head Trip Creations, where I do mixed media portrait art of all different types, including whimsical, which is exactly what this series on Oddity Girls is all about. So I've done two already. Hopefully you've seen them. If not, you can find them in the playlist called Oddity Girls to get caught up. So this one is Oddity Girl number three. I can't wait to show you how I created her. The video will start now. Enjoy. So I already did the pencil sketch on 7x10 90 pound watercolor paper and I'm going over the lines here with a micron pen so you can see them before I start adding the wet media and also to define the lines so I know where I am throughout the process. And now I am using buttermilk acrylic to warm up her complexion which I go back and forth between the buttermilk acrylic and dirty gray water because she's supposed to be not really um, grungy but she's supposed to have that kind of Tim Burton vibe and so she's not supposed to be quote unquote pretty but a little monsterish in a way, but in a pretty whimsical way. The only difference between her eyes and her two friends is that she's not looking directly at the camera, if you will. She's kind of looking a little bit over to the side. And the whole idea in creating a character is to know what are the most um, dominant features, uh, the most notable feature, whether it's a hairstyle, the type of eyes. Um, once you have that down, then it comes down to how you're applying the media. So here for the eyes, it's very, very wet. And I kind of let it pool so that it dries as a stain. And I do the same with the lips. The upper lip is always going to be darker. And the background is going to be very dark. And the hair is going to be dark as well. And so, you know, I have to find some kind of a color balance between the background and the hair. So I use some dark gray. I use some um, burnt umber. And then, you know, a lot of black in both. And you'll see that in the end, it's almost hard to define the hair from the background. So I ended up using um, chalk pastel. So here I, she's looking a little like, you know, Mrs. Frankenstein here. <laughs> but... I started her hairstyle off with it sweeping to the side and then I decided that I wanted to have the bangs just like the other two so she looks more like her friends. And so until I really, really perfect this character, then, you know, I can start getting a little fancy with the hairstyles. But... I do want to kind of stay true to that look. Um, that's kind of like going to be the hallmark of this character. The kind of straight hair with a little bit of a wave to it. The bangs, the, the fine line for the eyebrow, those big eyes with the big eyelid. That's a little lazy. Um, big eyeballs, you know, just, but very relaxed. It has to have like that vibe where she's kind of chill. Little nose, kind of pug with a little bit of uh, gray shadow at the very bottom. Undefined for the most part. And the upper lip, very um, like the like the around the cupid's bow is very very like peaked and 
darker. So here I'm just talking because what I'm doing here is going over the background. As I mentioned before, it's very, very similar to the hair color now. And here I am lowering her eyelid to get that lazy look and darkening her pupil. And later I add the eye shine. So I'm adding a lot of the, um, I made alcohol ink with alcohol and black acrylic and also with the brown acrylic. And then I rinse both in water. So I have that dirty water, which is like a gray. So here I'm adding the DIY alcohol ink in black to her lip. And this is gray acrylic that I made with black, cream, and white. And here I'm adding a little bit of the gray dirty water to her nose. And now I am fitting her for her dress with some leftover scraps from a previous project that I had um, stenciled with or, or stamped, I think, with checkers. So now that that's down, I'm going into the background and now I'm giving her pearls. First, I'm coloring the pearls in with a Sharpie marker and then I go over it with black acrylic. And then while I had the black acrylic on the brush, I just contoured a little bit, cleaned up, added more to her lip. And now with the precision bottle, I have um, white acrylic that I cut with flow aid. So it's um, like very fluid. And I'm just giving her all of the lines for the long strands for her bangs and doing little curls at the at the bottom. So I didn't do that for her friends. I just gave her friends one curl. Well, two curls maybe on the outside and the inside, but here she has four curls on each side. So she's a little more stylish than her friends with the, uh, the pearls and the curls. <laughs> you know how girls are. And there's the eye shine. A few more white lines and I wanted to do something about the background so when I was done with this I went into it with brown chalk pastel a few more dots to the curls and now using the brown chalk pastel and gray chalk pastel. So I go back and forth so you can see how it's like reddish brown. And I add a lot and then I go into it with the gray. Then I go back into it with the brown. So I go back and forth just to get almost like a little texture just with the color. It's going all around a few spots. If I think it's too light, I go back into it with the brown. And her complexion is a little on the gray side. And the character should have more of that buttermilk, that vanilla. So instead of using the acrylic again, I used pan pastel, which is the same color just to warm up her complexion and she is done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me create oddity girl number three. I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you are too. If you have any questions about my process or materials, which I've detailed below, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will because I upload regularly until the next video. Take care. I'll see you soon.